Hi guys, today I want to share you a tips about the gauge chart. So normally when we add a gauge chart, for example, I just uh, add the uh, count people into this chart. So normally when we uh, show this chart, uh, the maximum value is always set by the system. Uh, it always is a double value, double of the, the value. Uh, for example, the, the value here, the count is 58. So double is 116, right? For example, if if we choose, we change the availability, you can see uh, the count of people available is 63. So the, the, the system will set it to, uh, to double is 126. So to make this chart looks pretty, but it doesn't make sense, right? So we, for example, um, for now, I just choose employee, uh, the type is Y, right? So I want to show the maximum value is the total or, or the quantity of Y type of uh, employee. For example, okay, you can see this is my final chart. If I choose like math type, so you can see it's on totally one. But this number is the, the 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 quantity of this type of employee. For example, I choose N. So you can see 231. 231 is the uh, the total quantity of N type of employee. If I change the availability, you can see uh, the available number is it, it, changing, right? But the total uh, 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 total amount is fixed value based on the employee type. But for this one, you can see, yeah, this number is correct, but this number doesn't make sense. Yeah, it's set by the system, as I mentioned. Okay, so uh, let, next, let me show you how to realize this uh, chart. Okay, first of all, let's delete it. This, uh, okay, I think the first step is we need to create a, a new measure. So we are using the chart. We are using. We are creating the chart based based on this table. This table. Then we just create a new measure. I name it to qualified of specified employee. So double click it. You can see its definition. So let's look at this definition. So I just uh, use the if statement. If is blank, if this is blank, this is selective value, it means this, uh, this chart, people chart, right? The people chart, this column, employee. If this column, selective value is blank, means if nothing selected, for this column or for this filter, nothing selected. I will I will count all the rules of this table, no matter what kind of filter uh, filters uh, are applied. If not blank, that means at least one value is selected. Uh, so it will count the rules based on the selective value. So I use a filter, count rules, filter, filter to this table, right? Filter this table. This is a condition. The condition is the selected value, this column, the selected value. And okay, the filter, the condition is um, all, uh, for this column, all the records its value is the selected value. This is column, right? This is column, this column. The column, uh, the records is, uh, the value is is equal, uh, the value equal the selected value. Then I will uh, count the rules, right? Yeah, that's it. Then after you, uh, you created this measure, then you just use this measure in uh, in this uh, gauge chart. 
So I will I will put this uh, the, the definition or DAX in in the video's description for reference. Then we just go to the, the, the chart uh, format, then go to the gauge axis, then just change the max. You can see change the max. We just need to find the uh, the people chart here. Uh, find the uh, the measure we just created. It's uh, quantity of specified employee. Then click OK. That's it. Yeah. So hopefully it um, um, so you can uh, so it, it it will be helpful for you uh, to create a, uh, a gauge chart. Thank you.